Okay, so I wanted to take a minute to talk about um, an ad that apparently was shown during the Super Bowl. And I'm going to be upfront and say this. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. In fact, I, I don't watch sports at all anymore. I just don't care. Um, and I'm not being judgmental of other people that do watch them, but I just see zero eternal value in them. I don't care if it's the Super Bowl, the World Series, uh, the NBA playoffs, the Olympics, the Masters Tournament in golf, the, the bull riding championship, whatever. I, I, I've got better things to do with my time in light of eternity. <clears throat> that being said, though, I know that the ad was about Jesus washing feet and that it was by an organization that does a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it's the name of the organization or just the message they put out. It says, He gets us. <clears throat> and in one respect, that message is absolutely true. God does get us. Jesus does get us. And the reason that Jesus does get us is because he created us. He knows our hearts. He knows the innermost depths of our being. And in some ways, that is a comforting thing. To know that the creator of the universe knows what's in my heart, knows who I am, knows what I'm about. But in some ways, that should be the scariest thing that I have ever thought about. The fact that the creator of the universe knows who I am, knows what's in my heart, and knows what I'm about. And I'll tell you why. Because the Bible says the human heart is deceitful above all things and is desperately wicked. And that is the truth. Um, I don't buy into this idea that well, most people are basically good at heart. No, we're not. You're not. I'm not. We are liars. We are violent. We are lustful. We are jealous. We are hateful. We gossip. We steal. We kill. We destroy. On and on and on. Human beings are not good. So the fact that he gets us, in a lot of ways, should not be a comforting thought. He knows just how depraved and disgusting we are. But even that's not the, th the issue. Because it's not about him getting us. It's, do we get him? Are we making an effort to learn who he is, what he wants, why his ways and his thoughts are better than our ways and our thoughts, and to submit our will to him, to submit our thought processes to him, to submit who we are to him, to try to learn from him, to try to become more like him and not just expect him to get us and accept us as who we are. Jesus says, if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. I don't think he's talking about going to heaven. I think he's talking about you cannot see God's kingdom, the people that are in God's kingdom, what he is doing what his plans are, what he is about. You have to become a new person. You have to be, as Paul says, transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to become a completely different person. And that completely different person that you become needs to be based on a pursuit 
of who Jesus is, who God is, what God wants, not what I want, what God is doing with humanity, what God is doing on an eternal scale, and be looking to serve him. I want to get God. I want to get what he wants me to do. I want to get what his thoughts are because they're higher than my thoughts and they're more important than my thoughts. So I guess today I really just want to challenge people to think about not does God get you because he does, but do you get God? And if you don't, maybe we should think about putting a little more effort and time into getting God.